Hi everyone, I've waited all day to try and film this video but of course now um, it's getting up to four o'clock and we turned our clocks back uh, last night in the UK so it's already getting dusky so I apologise in advance for the light if it's really bad. I uh, just want to quickly share um, a little run through today of um, a trio of, well, I'm calling them rustic winter journals. Um, they're a traveller's notebook and they come with their own altered file folder. So I've done three, so I'll quickly run through them, um, hopefully in less than 15 minutes. Um, right, the first one um, is already sold, uh, but I still want to quickly flip through it before I send it off tomorrow. This is um, a reindeer one. Um, the altered file, I'll show you the altered file folder first. Um, I've just collaged it up with um, some corrugated card, some hessian burlap, a um, little bit of brown paper, some more um, like a cream coloured hessian. Um, I've added a snowflake um, crochet doily, um, some more hessian and a little, I'm not sure what sort of a nut it is, is it? I don't know, but I found them outside and I just thought they looked very rustic and some cheesecloth. Um, obviously the journals, when not in use, go in, I won't go through all that showing it here, <laughs> obviously it goes in when not in use. Um, so I'll quickly flip through this. I've just done a very simple, um, well, it's not called string is it, um, twine, that's the word I'm looking for. Why is it every time you start to do a video, all the words vanish from your head? Right, simple twine closure. Oh, um, on, on the front of this um, traveller's notebook, um, I've obviously got my reindeer, which I've collaged up. I've got a little wooden snowflake. Um, I've collaged it with some bits of cheesecloth, bits of, I'll call this a nut, because I don't really know what it is. <laughs> some more twine um, and a little bit of lace. These um, notebooks are not heavily embellished because um, I'm thinking more this time of year, the more for quick note taking and adding your own embellishments. And I've done a few pockets that you could obviously use and fill as normal, but I have left them as plain as possible, which I do find quite hard because you do want to keep adding things. But right, here goes. Um, inside pocket, a little burlap uh, collage, a little reindeer, a uh, reindeer card. I've used quite a lot of um, Artie May's Nature Walk ephemera in this um, these journals. All three of them I think I've used quite a lot, which um, they lend themselves beautifully. A uh, little tag which is um, collaged up with a tea bag, burlap um, and another stag. A little journaling card and a snowflake. I will run through these quickly because I've got three. I'm thinking, ooh, five minutes each is possibly all I've got spare. Some plenty of plain um, writing space, some tags, little envelope, um, collage, little pocket, which I've just used with some brown paper. Um, another tag with a little squirrel and a tea bag, some music paper, um, a glassine bag with some ephemera in, wallpaper, some music paper, uh, Tim Holtz, um, I've just put some little brown uh, wrapping paper in the middle because I just thought the browns, um, like I said I did want to keep this as neutral as possible, I just think it blended in quite well with the journal. Uh, another tag with a little botanical Tim Holtz image. Another dear journaling card, or stag, whatever we're calling him. Some more lined paper. And back pocket with a little envelope and another journaling card. Like I said, I've kept these very, very plain for um, obviously writing. That's the first one. Then the second one is... Um, I'm calling this one my Snowy Owl Traveller's Notebook. Once again, um, comes with its own altered file folder. Are these in frame? So, um, the file folder is collaged up with 
Hessian, some music paper, corrugated card, a cut out um, snowy owl and I've just put him on a little branch with some cheesecloth and a little um, wooden snowflake um, embellishment on the bottom. The actual journal itself, um, all these journals are typical traveller's notebook size. Um, they, they measure eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. Another twine enclosure. Don't you hate doing things when you're looking at your watch for time all the time? But I really need to get these done in 15 minutes. Um, on the front, I've collaged this up with a little owl die cut, some more cheesecloth, um, and some hesse, and a little bit of music paper, some card, and I've stamped um, the front and back of the cover just to make it a little bit more rustic. Um, once again, I've used Artie May's Nature Walk, I think is uh, Nature Walk. Um, little journal and tag with this book, book belongs to. Uh, it's got a beautiful owl on the front. And on the back, they're all coffee stained or tea stained. Another little um, journal and card from the Artie May's Nature Walk kit. Uh, that kit is so rustic, I love it. Um, and I just really love working with it. A little bit of washi. I'm not sure who this paper's from, uh, but I will have a look back after. Another owl die cut, which I've just sewn across the page. Some Edith Holden. A little flip out. Uh, more of the beautiful Artie Mays paper. Um, some plain paper. Uh, another Edith Holden. Um, January because I thought January is winterish still isn't it um, a little tag which I've collaged up with um, a little image of an owl um, some hessian music paper and a little twine tag um, another little pocket with um, a little owl journaling card in Um, little, put little snowflakes randomly here and there. Um, centre spread is the Artie May's Nature Walk. Um, another little journaling card with an owl. Some more washi tape. Uh, some Tim Holtz. Um, some more writing space there. I just thought these colours kept in with the rustic theme I was going for. And another little tag with a little red robin um, and some burlap. I'm tr obviously trying to do a few Christmas journals, but I'm trying to keep away from the bit more traditional. I sort of like more of a rustic Christmas um, look. Um, so this is my attempt at my Christmassy rustic journals. <laughs> another little snowflake and uh, an owl on the back. Um, like I said, these do all have their own little file folder. Oh, you can never do anything, can you, on camera? Um, like I said, when not in use, they just simply slide into the little... Um, um, I've got one more now left to film. No trio of journals would be complete without a fox, would it? Um, so once again it comes with its own little altered file folder which I've collaged again up using burlap, um, white corrugated cards, some brown paper, I um, don't know what that is, it's like a hessian but it's not as thick but it's cream, um, some more, I forgot what that's called there, whatever, <laughs> some twine and another little wooden snowflake. And the actual journal, again, has got another twine closure. What am I doing for time? Oh, 9.25. Okay. Slow it down a bit now. Oh, that hour difference going back doesn't half make a difference, doesn't it, in the light? It'll be really dark tonight, quite early. And of course, when you're on camera, nothing works. Right. <laughs> Um, on the front of the journal, there's a little beautiful fox which is covered in snow. Is that in frame? 
um, collaged up again with um, some burlap and some bits of fibre and a wooden snowflake and a little um, sparkly sticker. Um, inside pocket again made up of burlap. I have a couple of journaling cards in. I love these. I got these. Um, they were actually a Christmas card I bought from, and that is the parsonage at Haworth, Haworth um, where the Bronte sisters lived. Um, and they've done a lovely range of Christmas cards this year with foxes, and so I had to buy that. Um, another little adventure awaits journaling card from um, the Artie Mays kit. Some plain note paper, another uh, writing paper, more leave it holding. Uh, just a little mixed media collage tag um, with some bits of paper, burlap, and wooden snowflake. Another little fox on his way in the snow. I uh, love foxes, and oh, actually, I've just spotted it has an owl there as well. <laughs> Um, a little brown paper bag with some, um, well, we'll put some paper and some more ephemera in. A little bit of washi. I always forget to use washi in my journals. And every time I watch journals and people use it, I think, yeah, I like that. But then I forget to do it. And I've got loads of washi, but it just seems to be sitting there doing nothing. So making an effort to use up some stuff. Uh, some more journaling space. Um... Edith Hold in December, which is quite apt, I think, for the coming months. Little squirrel tag. A little brown pocket, um, envelope pocket with um, a little journaling tag. Some more writing space. More plain paper. Like I said, they're not overly embellished, these, because at this time of year, I think. If you're anything like me, you just like to jot things. And coming towards the end of this now, it's got um, a little fox chasing some birds in the snow. A beautiful winter image. And I've left the back plain. Um, like I said, one of these, the uh, reindeer one, has already sold. But the other two I've just listed in my Etsy shop today. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you're all enjoying your Sunday and how quick is weekend gone again. Anyway, thanks everybody. Catch you all soon. Bye.